Hello, beautiful friends. How's everybody doing today? We are actually doing an encore performance of the Laura Geller collection. I actually purchased some more products, so I'm super excited to test those out. So if you want to see what those products are, please continue watching. If you're new today, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And we truly hope that you do stick around and hit that subscribe and notification bell and join this amazing family here. All right, there's a lot to cover, so let's just get started. Before we get started, I do have a little backstory on these products. Two months ago when I did the original review on them, I wasn't really sure on the baked foundations. I was very torn. I was like, oh, I love them on my skin. Oh, no, I don't. So, um, yeah, I was just very confused and torn. But after I came back, after several hours of wearing the foundation, uh, the powder foundation, I really liked how it stayed on my skin. I liked how it looked. Uh, so I was very intrigued by these. And then in the comments, everybody was suggesting maybe be mixing the two powders together um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about you know the first original video I'll post a link here and it's probably best to watch that one first but yeah so I was just very torn about it and I did follow your guys's advice um, a lot of you had suggested you know applying the powder foundations over a light skin tint a light foundation so that did you know send me down that rabbit hole of looking more into uh, her products so um, when I originally went back on her website a lot of the shades were not available you know and there was a great sale going on I was getting very frustrated and I'm like well maybe she's going to discontinue this so I wasn't really sure but um, Amazon had their big sale and a lot of these products were on sale so that's when I purchased them but now when I went back today a lot of those um, shades are available so it's good for you um, I did get a new palette and this I got off Amazon uh, during the sale and it's called the baked eyeshadow palette earthy essentials so uh, this is what the packaging uh, looks like there is a mirror on uh, the other side but this is it isn't that beautiful so there's you know a combination of really like you know it's called earthy tones uh, there's a lot of satin finishes uh, shimmers mattes so I'm really excited to try out her eyeshadows because yeah I have never tried them I am going to put on a little bit of eye primer now this is not uh, one of hers but uh, it's my favorite that favorite that I get on Amazon and everything I'll be using will be in the description box below uh, let's try these out and just see what look I can come up with and I'm going to try to you know use as many shades as possible without looking <laughs> uh, crazy here so let's start out um, with the transition shade and I think this one right here in the upper corner um, I believe it's called a birch uh, will be pretty good for a transition shade now there is a piece of plastic on the mirror so <laughs> that satisfying sound uh, so let's see what this looks like and um, I'm not picking up a lot of color here so it could be just too light for my skin tone I feel like nothing is coming off on my brush and there's not much uh, shade to that as you can see I'm really digging into these pans yeah let me just move to a different uh, shade I'm just gonna clean off my brush and let's go into it's called a uh, driftwood and that is uh, right here a uh, driftwood so it is a little bit deeper of a shade and let's see what kind of color payoff we can get and I'm going to really uh, dip into these shades so okay yeah this one is a little deeper better for a transition shade for me now it's so funny because in the pan that looked uh pretty deep and but it's not coming off that way on my eye as you can see the more i build up on that shade i'm getting a really good uh color payoff so i do want to show you really quick i started on this other eye um i want to share with you how it is a little difficult um, to get your brush in here because the pans are so tiny yeah it is a little difficult and like I said you really got to dig into those shades if you want a color payoff but I just wanted to point that out that yeah the brush is a little hard to get in there okay so once I got you know a few layers of that shade on I really do like that shade um, and now I'm going to go into uh, this one here it's a maple now this brush was uh, a little smaller and it was easier so it looks like I'm getting as you can see a little bit more 
pigment and on the eye or my coloring because I have olive skin it's coming off as like a more caramel color which is super pretty so it has like a, a yellow undertone yeah I really do uh, like that shade and I can see I'm going to tell you what my daughter-in-law said now because she's exactly right um, she goes, I didn't like it at first. You know, I felt like I wasn't getting any color payoff. She said, but the more I was building up on it, the better it got. And that's exactly what is um, happening here. You know, usually a lot of times it can happen that shades do not build up on each other good. These ones build up on each other beautifully. So she's exactly right on her description on this palette. So now I'm going to move to a smaller brush and the brushes I use are the BK uh, Angie Hot and Flashy and this one is the A502. So I think now I'm going to go into like a green and um, this one looks again like a, oh, I have to get in your, um, so you can see, um, this looks like a satin finish and that one looks more like a matte. So let me try the more matte one and that one is called Jupiter. There is a, um, color payoff coming off. I can tell I'm definitely going to have to dip into the pan a couple times, but um, yes, they are building up, uh, you know, on each other really nicely. Yeah, these work better, I would think, in layers. Um, so if you're just going for one color, uh, you're going to have to go into the pan several times. That's what I'm picking up here. So that is really a beautiful shade. Plus, I do want to mention, I just cleaned all of my brushes, and I do find um, clean brushes are... <laughs> do you guys have that problem when you clean your brushes? Like, the eyeshadow just takes... just it doesn't apply the same. Um, yeah, that is the pro and, you know, con of cleaning your brushes. And it could just be me. I don't know. But I would love to hear what you guys think about that. I almost want to lighten up the look a little bit. And I'm thinking about using this shade, a sage. So let's try that and just see what happens. It's swatched super light, and I think it's a matte shade, but let's just see what it looks like. So I'm just kind of packing that on, and I'm putting it on a very dense brush, just so it's not too fluffy, because I just want this to really work as, um, like a base. I'm going to put a shimmer over it, but I just wanted to see what that looked like. Oh, that's actually very pretty, and I'm glad I chose that because it kind of just brightened up this look, made it look more, you know, for summer. And, oh gosh, now I got to think of the shimmer. So, I mean, there are several to uh, choose from, but I want something more light. So I'm actually thinking about this, these two here. So let's just try it and see what happens. I'm just going to apply a little bit, and it's called bronze. And I'm just going to place that more towards the outer edge because I don't want to deepen up that too much. Okay, yeah. See, I think that's just going to be too deep. So I'm just going to keep it right there on this outer edge. And then I'm going to go into, it's called Mother of Pearl. It is such a beautiful a shade. And I'm just going to, oh, I think I have a little bit too much. I just want to lightly go over that just to add a little bling. There is a little bit of fallout if you grab too much. Um, I do see a little bit of these sparkles going everywhere. Oh, that is really pretty. I do want to deepen up this outer corner. So I think I'm going to go into uh, the shade Night Sky. Even though it looks like a satin finish, I think it will work just fine. And this is, you know, a green shade as well. So I'm just going to stay more towards that shimmer that I applied and not really go into that original green shade. So just to deepen this up just slightly, just to add a little dimension. So I'm not being super precise or anything. I'm just, you know, adding a little bit of depth. So I think that's as far as I'm going to go with this palette. Um, again, just like with her baked foundations, I'm very just torn on this palette. It's just very interesting. You know, you really got to work uh, to build up on the shades. So, but I love the final look. It was super blendable. Uh, that was not the case and they build up on each other really well. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is just clean off these edges just slightly 
because I did get a new eyeliner. Now, because I've been hearing such great reviews on her eyeliners, I had to really uh, get one of those. So uh, what it's called, the packaging's a little smushed, but uh, this is called the Ink Credible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. And I did get mine in black brown. So um, I'm super excited, like I said, to try this. So this is the packaging here so just very typical of her back uh, packaging i am going to swatch it Ooh, it is very creamy uh that is the shade there that is absolutely a uh, perfect so what i'm going to do is just take this and stay really close to my lash line i've been doing this a lot lately i haven't even been really uh using a gel eyeliner especially right now because my eyes are watering so much it does seems to work much better and i'm also going to go under and really get that lash line or water line but i'm going above the water line i'm not putting it directly on it i'm almost going like in between my lashes and then what i'm going to do is just take this and put this like on the outer corner here just apply a lot of product i'm not being precise or anything and then I'm going to take this brush here that I get on Amazon and I'm just going to smudge this out and create like a wing so I will say this does set down really fast so because it's not easy to um, blend out so let me just apply a little bit more uh oh look what I just did I just broke <laughs> the tip here I think I was pushing a little bit too hard so I am going to apply a little bit more and see if it does blend out. So yeah, you just got to work very quickly uh, to be able to do that. But as you can see, I just created that wing uh, using this little brush here. I absolutely love these brushes. I get them right off Amazon and they were like, I think less than $5 for a pack of three. And I've been using them, you know, nonstop. So that is what that looks like. It's like the perfect uh, brown. It's not too bold. It's not too light. Let me talk about this gel eyeliner. Um, I, this may be bad. I got it off Amazon. So it could have been sitting on the shelves for God knows how long. But it broke on me twice, you know, and I was just putting it on. Um, and if you have any sort of watery eye, um, it was not sticking at all. So, um, yeah, so I'm not sure about this one. Um, you know, I've seen so many reviews on it. So maybe I'll purchase another one. Um, I might send this one back to Amazon and let them know it's not, you know, it keeps breaking. And maybe order off her website and see if there's a difference. Because, like I said, I've seen tons of reviews um raving about that eyeliner but yeah for it to break on me twice i felt like i was just struggling all right i did get a new mascara by her or it new to me um and this is called the um lash boss bold volumizing mascara so uh this is what it looks like so it looks like you know you can go from this to this this is the packaging here again you know just her black packaging i absolutely love it Let's take a look at the wand. So it's definitely an old school wand, uh, yes, which I love. You guys know that. So let me just curl my eyelashes really quick. Okay, on initial first stroke, it really grabbed onto the lashes. And it doesn't seem like it's super wet, which I love. You know, a lot of times new mascaras right out of the packaging, they're like super runny. And yeah, very hard to work with. But no, this is grabbing the lashes really well and separating them. So that's just with a couple strokes. Uh, pretty nice. It looks like it kind of curled the lashes uh, while I was at it. So <laughs> let's grab a little bit more. Okay, so now that I added more mascara, it's actually building up on itself a uh, really nice. And you know when you get a fresh tube of mascara, you know, you're just not sure. And it usually just, you know, is better two weeks later. But uh, this is actually really nice right out of the tube. Uh, so that is the difference. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is do a couple of coats over here, come back, and we'll move on with the rest of these products. Okay, I actually really like that mascara. I felt like it really lifted my lashes, almost like curled them up, and it's really keeping them in place. So yeah, that, so far that's a really 
really nice mascara, but I'll let you know if it flakes, smears, any of that good stuff. Okay, so let's get into the complexion. I'm super excited about um, all these products. So I am going to use her primer. Um, I used that last time. I mean, look how much primer you get. And this is called the Spackling Primer. Now, there's different um, versions of this. There's one that has like a little bit of glow in it. Uh, so I'm super interested in that, you know, those as well. But uh, this is pretty big, so I need to get through <laughs> this one first. Um, but this has like jojoba seed oil in it, uh, shea butter. So it's very nourishing. And that's what exactly what it says, hydrates and uh, moisturizes and replenishes. So I'm not going to apply any pore filler today. I just want to see how, you know, my skin will look. Uh, without any of that, let's uh, put this on. This is very um, refreshing. I love applying this. You know, my skin instantly, you know, gets its moisture back. It feels actually replenished, exactly what they say. Okay, so let's try this foundation, or actually it's like a tint, but it does say um, foundation. Uh, it's called the Quench and Tint Hydrating Foundation. And I got mine in the shade Light Medium. So this is the packaging that it comes in. Now, I did go on uh, the website. It's on sale right now for $18.00. And $0.70. And there's only like six shades available on their website, but it goes from light to deep. Um, it says that it's perfect for dehydrated skin, good for hot flashes, uneven complexion, a sheer to light coverage, weightless to satin finish, hydrating, and long wearing. So uh, let's give this a try and hopefully it's, you know, hopefully it's the right uh, shade. So uh, this is what the packaging looks like itself. So let's try this out. And what I thought, my thoughts on this, you know, they do have a more full coverage of foundation, but I do want to apply it, you know, like I have been with those other baked uh, products that I have. So, or I do want to use the baked products with this. So let's see. I'm actually going to apply it with my fingers at first. And the shade looks really good. Usually with these kind of products, you know, that are sheer, um, I do like to apply them with my fingers because I treat it like almost like a serum or a skincare. But let's just apply a little bit and let's just take my brush and see what it does. And I'm just going to tap that in. So yeah, I think I'm just getting a more um, better application with my hands to tell you the truth. I feel like it's just picking up a lot of the product. Yeah, it's just a very a sheer um, coverage, but it does even out my skin tone and it does seem very um, hydrating. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more and I am going to place this on a sponge and just go around and just see if you can build this up at all. Actually, this builds up um, on itself really well. You can definitely see my imperfections uh, coming through here. Um, so yeah, it's just basically working as a skin tint, um, but that's what it is, you know, uh, but it's not super full coverage or anything, but that's what it says, sheer to light coverage. So this is actually just going to be perfect, you know, when I do apply these powders. Okay, so I did get a concealer, like I said. Unfortunately, I don't think this one's available, but they do have another one uh, on their website, and it's on sale right now for $14.30. So uh, definitely something to look into. And this is called um, the Real Deal Concealer. Now, this is supposed to be a, a full coverage uh, concealer. It's great for blemishes, you know, that kind of, you know, spot uh, correcting. So uh, we will see how it looks. And it's supposed to work, you know, under the eyes as well. So... Uh, it's a delicate enough to work under the eyes. So I'm going to, you know, hopefully um, that's a true statement. So this is what the packaging uh, looks like. And I got mine in the shade beige. So I hope it is not too deep. So it comes like in a squeezy tube. And hmm, I'm going to have to place this like on the palm of my hand. But that is the shade. So I think we are okay. Uh, let's hope. And I'm just going to place, ooh, it does look a little yellow or deep and it did say a little bit goes a long way so I better take a little bit off there and let's take a look at how full coverage this is I had just very little and I feel like it's already absorbed so let me just grab a little bit more I was expecting when they say a little bit goes a long way uh, <laughs> I thought for oh well I guess they're right um, I grabbed a lot more that time and it is going a long ways. It's super creamy. 
and it's not accentuating any of my dryness under my eyes, but I am going to grab a sponge because I do have way too much. And I will say uh, something is flaking. I think it's the mascara. Um, there, I'm seeing like little specks of my mascara. Um, so <laughs> that is not good, but it was only on this side. So maybe just something happened, but I will definitely keep my eye out for that. But I just wanted you to be aware of that. It's really not that bad of a shade, if you ask me. Um, you know, it just seemed a little uh, yellow at first, but it's kind of blending in just fine. And I think maybe once I get all my other um, makeup on, it might be the perfect shade to tell you the truth. There's no flaking over here, so I just feel like there was something possibly um, on my face before I started blending my concealer. So I think, you know, that mascara is okay. So I've actually made a couple purchases since that first video. Uh, the first time they had a huge sale, so I went and grabbed a few more things. And I have already tried these uh, products, so I know I really love them. And the first thing is this one here. It's their uh, stick bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. It has the perfect tone. So when it first came, though, it was like um, that marble effect. But yeah, it's like that perfect. Oop, I have some concealer on me still. Uh, yeah, it has a perfect cool tone, which I absolutely love. So I'm actually going to place a little bit on right now, even though I'm going to um, go over this with some powder. Now, I do know with her powders, you can use cream over it. But I just want to show you this one. And I do have something else I want to show you. So this will work out. So let me just add a little bit more up here. And these are super creamy. They blend like a dream. And I'm just going to use my, yeah, no, my bronzing brush here <laughs> and just blend that in. And as you will see how natural looking it is, how fast it does blend in. What is in my hair? Makeup. <laughs> oh boy, this is, that happens every single time, I swear. I've been using that bronzer uh, so much lately. Uh, I'm surprised I have that much left, to tell you the truth. It's just very natural looking. It's not a too orange. It just adds enough color. Okay, I am just a hot mess. I have makeup everywhere. It's all in my hair and God knows where. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, this bronzer is really nice. And I got mine in the shade, I believe it's called Dioro Glow. Okay, so I think that is it of all the cream products. So let's go over everything. And like I said, what I've been doing with these two products here, um, I have two different baked foundations and the first one is the baked balance and brighten and this is in the shade medium so this is what that looks like and this is more like a matte formula but as you can see all the nice marbling and that and the other one i have is baked balance and glow and this is an illuminating powder and this is in light so this one is really going to give off a glow or radiance and you might be able to see that in that. Uh, there is just a beautiful glow and my skin, you know, just looks so healthy uh, with this one. Even though it's super glowy on its own, when it's mixed, it just gives that perfect amount. So what I've been doing is just going in the medium first and just grabbing a little bit of the light. And as you can see, it is pretty prout, you know, powdery. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be done with these pans, you know, really quick. It's been two months uh, since I purchased these two. And let me just tell you, I've been using these almost every single day because my makeup lasts so well with it. So again, I'm just going to take that medium, a little bit of light. And I'm just going to place that under here where I had a little bit of that bronzer. Okay, do you want to mention with that concealer, um... I'm not getting any creasing whatsoever, and it's been on for uh, a few minutes, so that's pretty impressive, and it looks really nice. Uh, it still doesn't look dry or crepey or anything. I don't think you would have to really set that concealer, and I just might not today. Okay, so like I said, I did get a, a, a powder, and I love this powder. I've been using it. Like I said, this was in the first order because I didn't think I was going to order anything else, but I couldn't control myself. And this is called the Laura Geller uh, Filter Finish Radiant Setting Powder. So this is what the packaging looks like. And what this is, is like a tricolor 
a powder. So it's going to really brighten um, the T-zone or anywhere that you want brightening. And it's going to kind of color correct. Isn't that cool? I absolutely love this powder. I've been using this nonstop. But, you know, there is a lot of kickback with all of her products. But you're not wasting that much. You just can't. Because, like I said, I've had these products for quite some time. And I haven't even hit pan. So I've been placing this right in the T-zone and, you know, my makeup stays on really well um, when I do this. And I have, a, you know, placed it under the eyes only to brighten it. So I said I was going to add any powder, but I just put very, very little. But as you can see how that kind of uh, brightened, you know, that T-zone. I'm just going to place a little bit here. Yeah, I love this powder. I've been using this almost every day and... Again, I haven't hit pan, so I'm pretty happy. Okay, and I did get, um, this was in, no, this was in the second order. I did get a baked bronzer, and um, I just thought it would just be good to have a powder bronzer because as you can see, um, that other one is kind of covered and muted. So uh, this one is in the shade, I got medium. It's a little deep, so I gotta be very light-handed. But uh, this is the packaging here. And that's what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? I love her products. So I'm just going to place a little bit on a brush. I mean, very little. And again, like I said, I'm just going to be very light-handed. And if you look really closely at this um, bronzer, there's almost like a little bit of pink in there. That is so pretty. I love that bronzer. Yeah, it's not super orange. As you can see, it's almost like very um yeah it has like almost like a red or pink undertone which is super uh, pretty but you do have to be very careful and i'm just gonna place a little bit on my nose only like like i said i got the wrong shade you know if you got the right shade you probably would not have to be as careful as i need to be and then i am just going to take my sponge that has a little bit of that tint just go around everything and really just calm that down yeah, that looks really pretty. Just added a little bit of, of warmth to my face. So love that bronzer. And now um, what I did purchase is I have a three um, blushes. I love her blushes. They are absolutely uh, stunning. So the first one um, actually came in that kit that I had. And this is in the first uh, video. And I will show you what that looks like. So isn't that gorgeous? And this one is in the shade a tropic, uh, Tropical Hues or Tropic Hues. So I will swatch that for you so you can see uh, what that shade looks like. Yeah, that is so pretty. And uh, then I did get two more <laughs> blushes. Uh, and this one's called Sun Swept. And I will show you what this one looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Now this one is more like a bronzy uh, situation if you ask me and but I've used it and it's absolutely a beautiful so there's almost like a coral um, effect in that and they all have like this beautiful glow so hopefully you can pick that up and then the last shade and I thought I wasn't gonna like this I thought it was gonna be too a uh, light for my skin and it's actually uh, just gorgeous it's called coral a uh, coral cold so um again you know the same old packaging and as you can see what i'm saying it looks very light but i will show you uh once i swatch this how gorgeous this is this looks so beautiful on my cheeks i'm always kind of confused with my new monitor so that is the three shades there they are so pretty Okay, so with this look, though, um, I probably would want to use the one uh, that I originally got, but I'm not going to, only because I want you guys to see these new shades. So I'm actually going to use this Coral Cove, and that way you can see what this looks like. And, I mean, you don't need a lot of her br uh, brushes, blushes. <laughs> you don't need a lot on your brush because they are super pigmented, you, you know, you can build up on it and get the shade that you want. Whoa, see, as you can see, it really builds up quickly. And I do put a little bit in my eyeshadow just to make everything go together. My skin always looks so healthy when I wear her products. I'm just gonna add a little bit 
right here in the center of my forehead, just a tad on my nose, and here down on my chin. Look how pretty that blush is. And then I also have um, this highlighter, and this was in uh, the original uh, video as well. And this is just a very interesting uh, product because it's not super blingy, as you will see. It almost looks uh, matte, but it really does brighten areas up. So I will show you how to um, use this. Oh, you guys, they sent me a concealer brush and I forgot to use that. So we're going to try this right now. So I'm going to place a little bit of this highlighter and just place that where, you know, I do want um, a little bit of brighten up towards my eyebrow. And I'm just going to place a little bit down the center of my nose and a little bit on the cupid's bow. But as you can see, it's just very uh, subtle. And I'm going to place a little bit just here in the inner corner. Okay, so let's finish off this eye look. And what I think I'm going to do is go into this really uh, deep shade here called a uh, night sky. And I'm going to place that on that smudge brush that I absolutely love. And I'm just going to place that on this outer corner and just kind of sweep that into that little wing I created. And I'm going to go into maple here. Just really smoke this out. Okay, I did purchase a lipstick and I'm super excited to try this. It's just called Italian Marble and I got mine in the shade Honey Bun. So wait till you see this. It is so beautiful. I couldn't wait uh, to purchase one of these. And the packaging is, you know, kind of weighted and I believe it, yeah, it has a, a magnetic a closure, which is very nice. And this is what it looks like. Is that not gorgeous? I just love that marble effect. That's what I love about her, um, all of her makeup. I just love that marble um, look. So let's try the shade and see what it looks like. Okay, now I honestly thought this was going to be a lot darker. Uh, so I'm kind of bummed. I've been waiting for like, oh my gosh, like I can't even tell you, a couple weeks to try this and it's way too light for me. Uh, maybe if I add like a, a lip liner, it would be okay, but yeah, that is super, super uh, light. What a bummer. What I think I'm going to try doing is putting uh, this over it. Let's just try and see what happens. So I'm just using the blush. And let's go over this and just see if it'll darken it up just a little bit. Uh, it made things a little better. And I also had like a little lip oil down here. So let's apply that over it and just see if we can save the situation. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot better. It doesn't really go with this look, but it's definitely a lot better. Okay, so let's talk about all these products. Um, okay, the eyeshadow is just very interesting, like I mentioned earlier, but I love the look that I created using that. There's a lot of beautiful shades in it, so it's one I will definitely reach for. Again, um, you know, just be aware you're going to have to work for your color payoff. So uh, that's the only downfall. And the small pans, you know, it is hard to get your brushes in there. But I'm super happy I purchased that. Um, I love the bronzers, both the both the stick bronzer and the powder one. I that is just absolutely a beautiful. I actually like that skin tint. You know, I think it's just perfect uh, to go under the powdered products. You know, it just has the perfect amount of coverage because the powder. Um, the baked powder foundations are going to give you uh, some coverage. So I think my skin looks absolutely healthy and, you know, natural. It doesn't feel cakey. So I actually really like um, that skin tint, which is unusual for me because usually, I, you know, I want more coverage. But again, like I said, you can achieve that with the powders if you're gonna use the two. The concealer is actually a very a nice as well. I gotta get my other mirror um, just so I can see. Uh, yeah, that is very, very nice. The blushes, I mean, you can't go wrong with her blushes. They are absolutely 
stunning. I love the blushes. The only thing that's a bummer, and that's only because it's, the, you know, a too light of a shade, uh, is this lipstick. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Oh, and that eyeliner. I'm definitely going to try uh, to return that because, I mean, it just kept breaking. So I think it was just dried out, and I definitely will give it another chance, you know, if I purchase a new one. I love her primer. And as of right now, the mascara I do like. Um, like I said, I did see a little bit of flaking, but I, I think it was just something else because it's not over here and I haven't seen it since, but I will definitely keep you updated on that. But all in all, I really think this was a successful encore. I'm super excited about all these products. Okay, so I wanted to show you what this looks like up in natural lighting. I actually like it better up here than I did down on the bright lights. I just think my skin looks so healthy, like a glow within. Um, and this is what the blush looks like. As you can see, that beautiful glow that it gives. And the eyeshadow looks so pretty. And actually, the lip color didn't turn out <laughs> uh, too bad. So I'm pretty happy. But yeah, this makeup is just absolutely gorgeous, you know, for mature skin, especially... Um, I just love it. I honestly could get rid of all of my makeup and just use this and be very happy. I love it that much. I'm just so impressed by how different my skin looks in this makeup than other makeup. So it could be all in my head, but I just really enjoy it. I'm sorry, you know, <laughs> the camera's all over the place. I'm just holding it a free hand. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. All right. I will try to do an update later um, in the day. It's like three o'clock right now. So maybe around nine or 10 just to show you um, how it lasted throughout the day because I'm curious too. It is past midnight, but I did want to give you an update of what the makeup looks like after this many hours of wear. Uh, just like the first time, I think it looks really nice. Um, it's a little oily through my T-zone, but that's very normal. But there's still makeup on my nose, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, it's faded slightly in some areas, but it hasn't worn off. Um, I had several hot flashes today, so it withstood that. Um, I think the blush still looks really good. We're going to ignore this eye because it has been watering all day, and half of the makeup has come off, so that's what I go through <laughs> on a daily. But I will say uh, the mascara never did flake, smear, or anything, so whatever was happening in the video earlier, it wasn't from the mascara because, as you can see, uh, that is still intact. Uh, the concealer looks really good. So I'm super happy with the concealer too, um, even though I think they discontinue making that or maybe they just changed the package, uh, packaging. I'm super happy that I purchased this concealer because it works really well uh, with my under eyes that are super, super dry. But other than that, I think the makeup looks very good. So I'm going to come a little closer just so you can take a look. Uh, it didn't settle in any fine lines or wrinkles or anything like that. I think it just looks very, um, you know, nice and glowy. I would definitely go out in public right now looking the way that it does. Now, again, I had hot flashes. I fell asleep on the couch. Um, yeah, it was super hot and humid here in Michigan today. So that's a lot of factors for this foundation to have to go through. So I do like the skin tint under it. I think, you know, just all the combos together made just a perfect cocktail for my skin. So I am very happy. I love this uh, makeup. I truly do. Like I said earlier, I could probably get rid of all my makeup and uh, just have this and be very, very happy. All right. I hope this was helpful. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, that's it. That's the end of this Encore video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, before you leave, please hit that like button. All right, you guys, I can't wait to see you again. I love you so much. And until next time.